Hello, this is Bishop Jeff Haynes. On Good Friday, our reflection of the cross of Christ becomes central at the veneration of the cross. The cross is the sign of our redemption in which Christ conquered sin and death once and for all. Our veneration is an opportunity for our outward physical expression to mirror our interior love for Christ and his cross and join in his suffering. While our desire to venerate the cross remains real, the manner in which we do so this year will be different. We are presenting ways to offer the veneration of the cross ritual on Good Friday in a manner that respects the need for safety during this time of the pandemic. The first way of presenting the cross to the congregation has the deacon or another suitable minister Go to the sacristy and obtain the veiled cross. Accompanied by two ministers with lighted candles, the veiled cross is brought to the center of the sanctuary in procession. The priest accepts the cross and then standing before the altar and facing the people, uncovers the upper part of the cross, the right arm, and then the entire cross. Each time he sings, Behold the wood of the cross. The second form of the showing of the cross takes place at the door of the church, in the middle of the church, and before entering the sanctuary. Each time, the priest sings, Behold the wood of the cross. Behold the wood of the cross, on which hung the salvation of the world. There are also two ways to venerate the cross that uphold health and safety. The first is to have the cross held up in the sanctuary. The community members remain socially distanced in their pews and make a sign of veneration. This sign can be a profound bow, a genuflection, kneeling, or using outstretched arms. The second would have the community come forward socially distance from those who are not part of their household, and venerate the cross from the foot of the sanctuary. Again, a profound bow, a genuflection, kneeling, or using outstretched arms. As we continue our Lenten journey, let us reflect on the words of Pope Francis. What has the cross given to those who have gazed upon it? and to those who have venerated that no one else can give the certainty of the faithful love which God has for us. A love so great 
that it enters into our sin and forgives it, enters into our suffering and death and conquers it to save us. The cross of Christ contains all the love of God. There we find his immeasurable mercy. This is a love in which we can place all our trust, in which we can believe. I pray that you continue celebrating devoutly these last weeks of Lent as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ.